Hi everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have the happiest little card for Christmas ever, featuring the adorable Critter Sweaters stamp set and coordinating dies from Simon Says Stamp. I love this set and I hope you love this project too. So let's jump into it. This features the Critter Sweaters set designed by the one and only Christina Warner. She is brilliant and amazing and I, I love her. I'm just gonna say it. All this cuteness in one set and you can use these coordinating dies, these little body shapes of a bear and the kitty and the bunny. I'm only gonna use the bear today, but you can also use these stamps, the Critter Sweater stamps to go on like any shape you can think of. But I'm also going to be using this Mary die, and it's not as large as what you see there. It's actually much smaller. Got some inks. So I've got some Gina K Designs ink. Got a little bit of innocent pink here in a cube, but I'm using sea glass, sweet mango, and the amazing key lime to use for my sweater colors. Got a little embossing powder here from Brutus Monroe in alabaster white and some Versamark ink for my cardstock today. I'll be using some craft from Gina K Designs, also from Gina Sweet Mango and Key Lime, a little scrap, some Nina Solar White cardstock, and I'm using uh, two weights, the 80 pound, and here is the thicker 110 pound, because I, I need both. Sometimes you need both. And the reason I need the lighter weight is because I'm going to be using this embossing folder from Echo Park Paper. I think it's so cute, this little wood thing, because I believe that bears well, they live in the woods. See, see what I did there? So wood grain, yeah. I'm gonna be using my Misty because it's gonna be critical for lining things up and, you know, some other things as, as we go. So that's the basic stuff. Let's dive into the project. I'm starting out with my heavier weight paper. This is the 110 pound. And I'm gonna cut out a bear and I'm gonna cut out three of the Marys. Now. When I cut out my first Mary, it was a little hard to get it out of the die. So if you're ever having trouble with your word dies, just get a metal shim. I have a metal shim and I used it to cut out the remaining two just because I knew it was gonna make a cleaner cut. These are really helpful. You know, every die cut machine has a little different pressure and a metal shim is a great investment because this one just popped out so much easier. And I cut out one more off camera because I'm gonna stack those together. Mary, I love that die. But while the die cut machine is out, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my shadow layer out of a little scrap of my key lime cardstock. I have a scrap bin and believe me, I keep all scraps because you never know when something's going to fit perfectly like that. And that will be the shadow layer for my Mary word. But now it's time to prep the bear, prepping the bear for all of these cute little stripey stamps. Now here's the fun part about this set. You can make any combination you like. There are so many cute little designs here and I'm using my Misty just to get everything nice and straight and lined up. But I am going to tell you this. Now you could do this card mass production pretty easily. You just get a bunch of your dies set up, but here's what you do. I am tearing off a stamp, every other stamp, and I need to tear off the top one. There we go because I'm going to mix my colors and I'm starting out with one color and it's the Gina K Key Lime, I love this. I'm gonna hit this twice just because I really want this to be nice and saturated. But now I'm gonna clean these off and I'm gonna move on to the second color. If you had two Misties, you could just set up two Misties side by side to do your individual colors or just stamp out a bunch of bears first with one color, right? You've die cut a bunch of them and then go in for the second. Now I've laid in the other stripes and now I'm gonna add the sea glass color. And bring that down. Also, I would like to note that I love that it's now, um, oh, it's sweater weather, sweater weather. It's uh, sweater weather. That, that's for you, Laura Bassin, if you're out there. Um, Cause I have sleeves that I can actually push now on my Misty. Thank you. All right, I wanna bring in a third color, the sweet mango. And I'm going to curve one of these stamps because I want, I want my bear to have a nice curved neckline. And that's where I'll bring in now the Sweet Mango just for a third color here. Pressing that down. Mmm, <laughs> it's going to be so cute. I love these colors together. Look at that. I love it. All right. Now, 
The other cool thing about this stamp set is it comes with a selection of faces. So I'm gonna stamp in, well, one face for the bear and one face for the kitty, and I think there's a side face for the bunny. But I'm gonna use a little bit of Gina K's uh, Black Onyx ink. This is a really great black ink, it's very juicy. I'm gonna stamp down my bear's face, and this is gonna transfer so well, I don't, I don't need to do it twice, that is fantastic. The other cool thing about this set, it comes with rosy cheeks. So cute, oh for cute, that, that's what we say in Minnesota. And the best color for rosy cheeks in my opinion, Innocent Pink by Gina K. Fantastic pink, it's kind of warm, but it's soft, and I just think it looks perfect for the cheeks. And then to stamp the second one, I learned this from watching Amy from Prairie Paper and Ink. Just uh, pick up your magnet, slide your bear over, and just kind of make sure you've got it aligned in the right position, just like that. Looks good. And then, you know, hold your bear down and stamp. That way you get this perfectly uh, uniform stamping from side to side of the cheeks. And that, my friends, that is one cute critter. All right, I'm gonna use spray adhesive to glue together my word die cuts. And I have a little, well, it's a big box actually, off camera that I spray in and I hold my breath because I do not want you to think that I am getting high on spray glue fumes, okay? I'm, I'm completely clear for this. But I will use Gina K's uh, Connect Glue, the liquid adhesive, to add the stacked die cut words onto the shadow layer. And the glue dries clear, so if a little seeps over, that's fine. Sometimes I'll just take my finger in there and wipe it out. And now I will just put a brick on that and let it, let it really adhere. Now I'm gonna take the word Christmas from another set. You could use any, any set that has the word Christmas or whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna use some Versamark. I prepped the area with the anti-static powder bag and I'm just stamping this down very quickly onto the sweet mango. I'm gonna pour on some of this Brutus Monroe alabaster white powder and get a nice little coating, tap off the excess and then I'll go ahead and get my heat gun nice and hot and I will quickly heat emboss that until it is white and melted. Now I'm gonna use the sentiment labels and one of these little corner notches. This is a great set from Simon Says Stamp for quickly cutting out even labels. I love this set and it's probably going to become the go-to set for me. So I like to get the label lined up. I bring my platform right to my works surface because then I can just look straight down over it. And I will put that scrap into the scrap bin. I waste not, want not, people. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside because the next step is actually going to be embossing my 80 pound Nina Solar White. So I put the little rubber mat that comes with this Platinum 6 machine, the embossing folder from Echo Park, and then put the plate on. And so you gotta put some pressure because it's, it's not going through perfectly easy, but the result is fantastic because I get this wonderful embossed look. Now it's time for getting the card base prepped. So this is the craft cardstock from Gina. Five and a half is where the score is gonna go. So it'll fold down to be five and a half tall by four and a quarter wide. Just give that a good press. And I've trimmed my wood embossed panel down already. And I believe it's three and a half by four and three quarters. And I'm gonna use the Gina K adhesive because what I wanna do here, I didn't wanna pop this up. I, it, the embossing kind of gives it so much texture that I wanted it to be perfectly flat. But look at that nice framing craft margin. I love that. So that's adhered down and the wood looks great. Now, gotta, gotta glue the bear down first and you'll see why. I added some thin foam squares to the back of the bear so I can quickly line him up. Got that little ruler in there, makes it so much easier. But got the bear down because I need to figure out the perfect placement of those little banner notches. So I wanted to have mostly everything as close to in place as possible. And I'm just putting little pencil marks here on either side so that I can put the banner onto my platform again, tape down the notch on one side, repeat it on the other, and then I have my, my perfectly cut banner. So, And I added some thicker foam to the lower part of the little banner so that then when I place it down, it rises above the thinner foam lift of the bear. Yeah, makes sense, yeah. Gotta pay, gotta pay attention to your dimensions, all right? 
and then I'm just gonna glue that on and that is my finished card project. So I think it was a little more involved than I kind of thought it was at first, but gotta show you, did another card here uh, just with two colors and used some sea glass cardstock. I also trimmed off part of my bear and I used a little uh, Swiss dot uh, embossing folder, but I just think it's really cute. I think this is a really fun and friendly kind of graphic card. And it could definitely be something mass produced if you had everything cut and ready to go. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to have you become a subscriber and I'll see you back here with another card project soon.